I do this for you. All the naysayers and haters who made me one of the greatest. I know it kills you inside. That's why I do this for you. I do this for my father, who I've only seen from time to time in my dreams. I do this for you. Oh, welcome back boys pepperonis here with another gta video and today's video boys is all about the drip fake content gta aka rockstar just released okay now we do have a new supercar boys and it's in the uh legendary motorsports we're gonna take a look at it boys we're gonna see all the upgrades out of modifications we can do so stay tuned and enjoy the ride as you can see, boys, the new car for the Diamond Casino and Resort update is the Visor Neo. Now, boys, I don't know where they come up with these names from, okay? Because I could have came up with something way better than that. But, boy, does this Visor Neo look good, especially the front end. Look at that grill. It reminds me of, like, those 60s uh, Jaguars, but we know that's not a 60s Jaguar. That thing looks way too cool and way too fly. That is a sports car, boys. Now, I don't know what this car was modeled after. But man, it does look clean. If any of you guys know what car this car was modeled after, please comment down below in the comment section so I can check it out. But boy, look at that grill, though. All right, let's go ahead and get that black model since that's the model it shows right there. And uh, we'll customize it from there. Now, just looking at the base stats, look at that acceleration, okay? That acceleration looks really nice, okay? We might have a new car out here, boys, all right? We might have something we can race with out here. Now... Let's go ahead and do these modifications. Now, of course, boys, you already know where I got to send it to. I got to send it to my casino uh, garage, you know. I mean, it is the casino update car. Might as well keep it in the um, the garage. Now, look at the look at the way they write it up there. I don't like the way they write that, man. I mean, come on, bro. They're going to try to make it so difficult where nobody can, can understand it. So, we made it to my personal parking garage, all right, in the casino. Now, as you can see, boys, I got all the cars that's already came out for the Casino DLC. But uh, I don't got enough. Personally, boys, I'm trying to actually get every single last vehicle that's in GTA. And I started with the militarized vehicles, but I, I am partial to the supercars, boys. All right. So I do got a bunch of them, too. Now, I'll give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek into my garage right here. Look at that, boy. Look at that custom job right there. That's one of the cars that came out with the Casino DLC. That's fire right there. All right, now this is the Thrax right here. This is the Thrax that I actually won. I didn't customize it, and I haven't even um, went and got papers on it yet. All right, this, look at that Paragon R right there. Yee! Look how I customized that, boys. You know that's lit right there. That's litty, boys. That's litty. All right, now this is the Thrax right here, this blue one that I did customize. This is the one that I actually bought. All right, and uh, obviously, boys, I got to keep my uh, Speed Racer vehicle in here. I love Speed Racer, one of my favorite cartoons of all time. And this is also one of the uh, cars that came out with the Casino DLC. A lot of people tell me they don't like the pink. I might be changing it to black, all right? So this right here, boys, is the visor, all right? The the one we just bought right here. Look how clean that looks right there. Yee! That almost look as good as that fedora I got on my character's head. All right, all right. I'm just stunned, boys. Now let's go ahead and take this out. Take it to Los Santos and do what we do. Now, just driving it over here to Los Santos, I can tell that this car's got potential. But uh, we're going to do the modifications and then afterwards, boys, we're going to test this out and we're going to see what it do, all right? So let's go ahead, go in, and I'm going to get off the mic and I'm going to just do the customization. Did you guys check it out? I'm going to show you guys everything that's in here. And uh, after that, I'll be back with you boys when we test out the vehicle.
Dim's really beatmaker of Reunion Island, baby.
Dennis Reddy, beat maker of Reunion Island, baby. Dim's really the maker of Reunion Island, baby. Okay, boys, uh, we finished the customization. I'm pretty satisfied with what we did here. I might fine tune it a little bit. Now, as you can tell, I kept the wheels and the rims the same. I usually try to do that for the cars I get nowadays because a lot of times I change the rims and then I'm like, eh, I wish I would have kept it the same. So that's what I did there. Now, you will notice, boys, that I did not upgrade the brakes. A lot of people are going to say, why didn't you upgrade the brakes, Pips? Well, 
one of the things I learned about this game is you don't really need to upgrade the brakes until you drive the vehicle around, okay? You need to know what the brakes can already do, okay? You don't want your brakes too tight, okay? Now, after running around with this vehicle in like two or three different lobbies, and, you know, I was playing around with this for a while, doing some missions and stuff like that, just trying to get the feel of what this vehicle could do, I'm glad I did not upgrade the brakes, okay? The brakes are extremely tight on this on this, uh, on this this vehicle, the visor, or whatever it's called. I mean, it's really strong. They have really, really strong brakes, okay? So if I would have upgraded it, it would have been even, it would have been too much, you know? Um, another thing I noticed with this vehicle, at first I felt like the handling was a little too tight, okay? It's like I couldn't turn to the right or to the left as quick as I wanted to. It just kind of felt like, you know, it was just a little tight. It was tight. So at first I was thinking to myself, that this vehicle, the turning wasn't really that great. But after using this vehicle for a while, I kind of got the gist of how this car is useful. Okay, so this car, the, the, the handling is way too tight. And the brakes are way too strong to do any type of drift. Okay, drifting in this car is a no-go. Now, what you can do in this car that is very, very impressive is being able to almost stop on a dime and turn and then accelerate very 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 quickly okay the acceleration on this car is top tier okay this is one of the top tier accelerating cars in the game now it isn't great on top speed okay so i will put it in that same sort of category with the wagner where the accelerates really good but it doesn't have the best top speed but this car has better brakes than the wagner now i know this car is a sports car and the wagner is a is a supercar, but I will just kind of give you guys a little bit of comparison. In my opinion, boys, this is one of the top tier sports cars in the game, and I'm glad they actually gave us a new car that we could actually use in races. This car is made for stopping on a dime and turning really, really fast. Okay, so this isn't the kind of car that you're gonna wanna do in a race where it's a big old loop or there's not really any turns. This race, this car is good at when you're doing those rockstar created races that are in the city okay when you have to do those quick l turns and you know you don't have the space really to do drifts like you want to okay it's really really tight turns that this that type of race this car is gonna excel at that so boys i would say this is a must buy if you like doing races but if you don't like doing races i mean i wouldn't say it's a must buy but it does re look really really nice and uh, like I said earlier, boys, I'm trying to collect every single last vehicle in the game. So, hey, you know I got to get it, boys. So, if this video helped you guys out in any type of way or you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button, boys. And remember, boys, I do daily GTA, Red Dead Online, and NBA 2K videos. So, if you like that type of stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button, boys, and you put your post notifications on to be notif notified the next time I drop a video, boys. And like always... If you haven't seen me on GTA Online, you haven't seen me on Red Dead Online, and you haven't seen me on NBA 2K in the park, it's only a matter of time, boys. Peps out. Peace. Love.